I'm going from Washington to Boston using only public transportation, which I'm defining thusly. Go watch Cameron O's video about this because he did it first, but stay tuned because I'm taking a different route than him. All right, let's go. Oh my God. Uh, five minutes later. It's kind of fun how the ticket is really bulky. It kind of reminds me of like a tourist train ticket, but the design is based on the Maryland flag, so six out of 10. Welcome to the Mark Holding Pen. I guess we just kind of hang out here until the train leaves. Oh, Holding Pen, because it's the pen line. <laughs> They say Mark Train, Mark Penline Train. Unfortunately, there was no electric locomotive on the first and longest trip of the journey. I like how they put their name on the seats. This nearly two hour ride would take us straight through Baltimore up to Perryville, Maryland. They're making an announcement, but it's very difficult to hear. I've never seen this before. On a commuter row, we have safety pamphlets. This one is crusty, so let's look at this one. Are those real pictures? Oh, that's kind of fun, actually. All right, now we're going to a good clip. Oh, 90. Oh, very nice. This is this is great. DC to Baltimore is such a sprawling thing that I never know where one ends and the other begins. But we got some nice woods to break it up. Oh, this is the stop where they put the flat cars in, like this platform extensions. That's so funny. Look at that. The Baltimore River. I don't know what it's actually called. On a lot of old signs, Baltimore is always abbreviated to Balto. And so I find myself struggling not to call it Balto because that's just really funny. So we continued up through the suburbs of Balto before ending up at one of the worst stations I've ever seen in my life. We literally walk across the Northeast Corridor to get off here. <laughs> That's nuts, oh my god. You know, I do think the prettiest part of the Northeast Corridor is the part between New York and like Connecticut, but some of the river crossings down here are just spectacular. We were now on the part of the line that runs six times a day, weekdays only, yay. We're about to cross the Susquehanna, which is probably the single most gorgeous part of this trip, um, as in like this trip being DC to Barryville, but like still. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, only four people came all the way out here. There are no trains between Perryville and Newark, the end of SEPTA, so now I get to spend two hours on the deviation fest known as Cecil Transit. Can't wait. All right, well, I'm glad to see Cecil Transit has an actual bus stop. Oh, you can get tickets on your phone? Oh, I was really worried to be cash only. Wait, that's... Okay, cool. Oh, no, wait, that's... That's Harford Transit. I think Cecil, you can't. There's a bus sitting there. I don't know if that's Cecil or something else. Demand response. So that better not be the fixed route with like a bad head sign. Uh-oh, it's peeping Tony. I found the Cecil Transit shelter that says that apparently it only serves these kind of downtown stops on the outbound route. So I consider myself lucky that they came here. I think this might have saved me missing it. Here comes the bus. Looks like a weird truck mini bus. I can't wait. Here we go. It's got a low floor front, which I guess means there's no jiggly wheelchair lift, but the bus itself is still quite jiggly. Unfortunately, Cecil doesn't give transfers, so $2 fare, cash only, no transfer to review, so the ticket gets a zero out of 10. We deviate into what I think is a gated veterans community, and then we head it out straight onto the open road, baby. How bucolic. Just ignore the highway and the billboards. It's not a mini bus trip without a Walmart deviation. Okay, I just found out from someone on Twitter that there is a Cecil Transit app that lets you pay your fare. They don't seem to advertise it anywhere, but uh, we'll get it used for the next trip, I guess. Let me just condense this. We deviated a lot, and there you go. This is where I get the Newark bus, right? Yep, should be here about uh, 10 minutes. All right, thanks a lot. The way Cecil Transit called this the Big Elk Mall made me think there might be some kind of indoor element to it, but it's just kind of a strip mall. Holy crap, this bus is making so much noise. Heading out, we got a nice bird poop window. This app is fascinating. It takes your microphone and like uses the noise from that to show like that it's happening real time, which is a very weird and interesting way to do it. Gosh, I guess eight out of 10 for ingenuity. Second Walmart deviation of the trip, heck yeah. There is a rear window, but they've done it, so. Approaching Jessica Boulevard and MVA. Wow! Welcome to Delaware. Here we are. A few deviations later. Why are they playing the Weezer version of Africa? Thank you. Me too. Ah, Newark, Delaware. So that bus was about 10 minutes late, so we have to wait about 15 minutes here for the set to train, which is kind of nice. Uh, is the waiting room open now? Oh, it is. Wow, wait, I'm impressed. There are outlets at all these different benches. We have departure screens for SEPTA and DART. 
Although only for the Route 302 to Dover for some reason. Maybe we'll do a water fountain review. It's okay, it's a little lukewarm. Oh, nice, yeah. Uh, that goes from DC to Boston in like seven hours, so yeah, it makes, that, it makes the 25 hours of this trip seem really like quite a lot. And here's the noble Septa steed that'll take us into Philly. My audio here sucked, but I gave Septa Key a four out of 10 because yeah. All right, ready? Here's how the pros do it. Yeah. This train makes literally every single stop it possibly could. So this is gonna be a nice long slog. Next stop, Churchfield Crossing. This is a wheelchair accessible station. Big stand. Oh wow. slow down quite a lot once we leave Delaware because I have to make a million stops but for now I'm relishing the speed. The beautiful Wilmington skyline uh, and that's about all I can say about that. Speeding through Delaware was a blast but once we entered the great commonwealth of Pennsylvania we made stop after stop after stop. Watch your step when exiting. Watch your step when exiting. 30th Street. So at this point, I have a three and a half hour break for dinner and hang out with Alina. But hopefully it'll give you solace to know that there had to be a three and a half hour gap somewhere. Just the way the schedules work out, there's no way to do this trip faster. So I figured take it in Philly and have dinner with an amazing person. Yeah, funny with the silver line thing in the background. They look like a foamer. You gave me that. I know. Do you have any words of wisdom for my trip? Um, don't get yelled at. I don't know. Okay. Now that is a fun fact. Three hours later. It's 9.34 p.m. We're back. <laughs> well, I think the joke would be like I zoom in on you and it does like the Metal Gear Solid sound. Get the <laughs> <laughs> It's really funny. You should edit it like that. Okay, well. Schedule 9.44. Local 2. Trenton. Next to arrive on track. Three. All right, we're on the Trenton line yep. to Trenton, New Jersey. Something like what, 10, 10 stops? Yeah, way okay. too many. It's North Philadelphia. You it's, did a station review. I did. Oh. I guess I'll put a card. You, you have to put the card up. And no, this ride was very, very slow. Clearly not even <laughs> for junction yet. Oh my God. Why? You know what also, we can check the Speedo app to see how fast we're going. Oh no. We eventually made progress. Is that an Amtrak? This oh. Keystone, I think. Next what stop is this? This is Torresdale. We're not even out of the city. Torresdale. Is that the peanut butter jelly time banana? Yes. Yeah. Oh, beacon of, of light. light. Beacon, beacon of hope. hope. <laughs> oh, that's, that's like one of the best colors I've seen them make that's in a while. Great. That's oh, awesome. That's really well on the camera. Thank you. Well, good news. We arrived 13 minutes late, so we only have to wait half an hour instead of 45 minutes for our yeah. Jersey Transit train. You know, there's always an off chance that Auntie Anne's is open. Yeah, I will... I don't know what I would do. You'll buy me a pretzel. I will buy you a pretzel if it is open. Oh, what a surprise. Oh. And therefore, there's nothing to do here in Trenton. Well, we can, again, we can go see the flippy. Oh yeah. This is only the second time I've used a ticket machine since. Was the other one Mark? Yeah. And you trans? Uh, no. Okay, what am I? No. Why did I? I don't know. <laughs> Trenton to NYP, NYP. We're making every single stop. It's arrows. It's arrows. It's arrows. With Look. Jeremy parentheses. With, looking, with Jeremy quotation mark, looking for arrows, exactly. end quotation mark, we Zora. We found them, look! Whoa! We found them! <laughs> How are you feeling right now? I'm very happy. I mean, this is a good train to have like an hour long ride on a lot of stops. Film like the seat and yeah. just watch how it gives. Like it, it sinks. It's like an old couch. Yeah. It's like it's nice and springy. Yeah. And you can just kind of like sink into it. Right. It also kind of looks like an old couch, which is perfection. What does this text say? Oh, NJ just, Transit yeah, in like a NJ weird Transit font. Over and over again. Points added for being pink and like weird, but it's it's such a Look weird design. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, it's giving like three out of 10. 
Uh, that's fair. Truly, we are witnessing Jeremy in his natural habitat right now. I also love the way they sound. It's like a spaceship. It's a really good sound. I feel like the videos always get more foamery when you're here, <laughs> there Jeremy. Is. There's, oh, there's Dinky Jail. It's not in there. This part of the trip was just a nice straight track, but soon Jeremy Aww. had to go. Hey, can you find out what a Matushin is? I don't know. Oh, okay, bye, bye. bye. Unfortunately, the stops are quite a bit closer at this point, so the ride got significantly slower. We're currently stopped at North Elizabeth Station. You never have any idea what you're doing with your life if you have to stop at North Elizabeth Station. Thankfully, we eventually did make it to New York. There's some kind of fever dream happening up here. It's New York, you have big screens. Beep, 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 beep. To the surprise of presumably everyone, an A showed up before a one. Okay, so the next seven isn't for another 17 minutes. But I think the shuttle might be running uh, overnight today. It was some weird work. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I might be screwed. Alright, so should be okay, hopefully. Alright. It's 1.33, our train leaves at 1.47. So you get to Grand Central at around like 135. Thank God you went tonight. I think we would have missed our train if it wasn't. And it's just because of some random track work. It's, it's so lucky. We have nine minutes. They actually advertise a connection to Shoreline East. So that's good. I'm not gonna be weird for sitting in New Haven for an hour once we get there. Grand Central to New Haven. We got it. Obligatory. Wow, this station is beautiful and it's really empty this late at night, which is really cool. kind of admired the weird graphics on these MTA cars. Like, what, what are these? What's one through seven? Watch the gap. Like, it's kind of a funny ticket. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, seven out of 10 for being funny. We've got an alarm set for 3.45. Time to sleep for like an hour and a half, probably. And now, a word from our sponsor. Welcome to the New Haven Space Hallway. We arrived about 15 minutes early, so I'm here for like 80 minutes. So that, that's fun. There's our train, 5 a.m. Shoreline East to New London.
we can do a CT Rail ticket review. Is it bland or is it bold? I think it's bland. Six out of ten. Special shout out to YouTube for passing the time. Our train is boarding. So at this point, we're hinging on a zero minute transfer between this train and the seat 108 bus in New London. If we miss that bus, we get to Boston three hours later than scheduled. So you can imagine I'm pretty on edge right now. Thank you. All right, 554. We just gotta find the bus stop. I think we should be okay. Here's the bus shelter. No sign of the bus yet. We made it. That's awesome. Here comes the 108. Also, it's freezing out. I'm so glad I have this winter coat right now. No ticket, so yeah, zero out of 10. This was our first full-sized bus of the trip, and it took us past some pretty cool sights, and some pretty weird ones. Like goofballs. Thank you. Okay. Oldie Mystic Village. I mean, it's not wowing me. Okay, we are now going to be taking the seat hop, which is their micro transit thing. So we're going from our current location to, we're gonna go take it to Pocketuck, and basically the furthest to the Rodan border we can go, which is not there, looks like it's here. From location, so Stonington hop, 710. That's cutting it kind of close, but it is what it is. Okay, if you're gonna go to the effort to call it Oldie Mystic Village, then you gotta say 60 quality shoppies. I mean, come on. Hi. Having a good morning? Okay. Oh geez, the driver's on the map. Wait, the driver's there? Oh, what the hell? Oh, there it is. Oh no, all right, we gotta run for it. Okay, okay. maybe it just left, but it dropped someone off. I think it must have multiple people on it, maybe. So it's arriving in six minutes, but it has to go around and drop someone else off, I guess. I don't know. Uh, well, we know it exists. I guess that's good. Maybe they're getting gas. They're also just hanging out at the Shell station. See, this is the problem with microtransit. It's just so unpredictable. Like, if it was a real bus, I'd know, okay, like, it's gonna show up at this time. But with microtransit, it's like, oh, well, it can kind of show up whenever you want. All right, here it is, coming back. Here we go. Goodbye, old Mystic Village. Or, excuse me, old E Mystic Village. Thankfully, this trip was pretty fast, but we did have to make an inexplicably long stop at a La Quinta Inn to pick up another passenger. There it goes. It's 7.28, and it's about a 10-minute walk to Westerly Station, so we should be okay. The bus leaves at 7.55. By the way, if the hop had cooperated and got us to Westerly before 7 a.m., we might have had a chance of getting the 95X route straight to Providence, which would have taken a full three hours off our arrival time. Oh, well. Across the Pocketuck River, we left the land of Ned. We're now in the land of, uh, not Ned. This is my third video to feature Westerly that's not a least used Amtrak video. Like, this is the least used Amtrak station in Rhode Island, but I just haven't covered it as such yet. There's the bus. I can't tell if it's just hanging out because it's like before the boarding time or if that's where it's just gonna like make its Westerly station stop because the station is here. While we're hanging out here, I guess I'll review the Ripta app ticket. I really like how you can store value on the app, so like I have eight bucks in here, I can just use it several times a day. Eight out of 10. Oh, it's actually, it's heading out of here. Maybe, maybe it's picking someone up. This is a flex route, notably not micro transit. It's like dial a ride, so you have to book in advance 24 hours. Okay, thank God, here it comes again. Just a couple minutes early. Oh, phew. I was so scared for a sec, I have bad luck here too. It came by by 901, she said. It came by by 901, she said. It's not recording, it is recording. It's despicable. I thought I liked the rip dot. Missed it. I missed it. We missed it! Oh, here we go. This is working out. After making a couple stops in and around Westerly, this jiggly bus took us across the state to the beautifully thriving Salt Pond Plaza. This is just kind of like a dead strip mall. Hey Marty, how's it going? My breakfast, courtesy of Stop and Shop. A muffin and some tomatoes. And if I'm still hungry, I can have the goldfish in my bag. 
a balanced and nutritious breakfast. Now it was time to get on the Ripta 14, a monster bus route that would take us all the way to Providence. And we were serving some pretty scenic roads on the way. That's a little worse for wear, huh? So loud. Hi. You're so loud. Amazing view. Jules, why are you here? Hi, I'm here because uh um, This is so pretty. Yeah. I mean I guess these people have to be somewhat rich if they all own boats. Oh, can you see it? Oh, I don't know if you can. We just the diner. Oh man. There's not been a single diner on this trip that I've seen. So that, that's literally the first one. After that exciting moment, it was pretty bog standard suburbia, but we did get to see the ugliest building ever. What is this building? Maybe it's not ugly, maybe it's beautiful. We soon got on the highway for the final express portion to Providence. It's the bug, it's the bug, it's the bug. I always love the approach to Providence on the highway. It always looks like such a big city, even though it's like not. I'm so tired, I forgot to film myself thanking the bus driver. Hey. I swear I did it. You, you were a witness, you know I did it. No, he was like, No, no, you saw I did it. I did it. Driver. I I'm always just, thank the bus driver. Go Good riddance. Get out of here. <laughs> You, are you a greyhound? Are you a greyhound? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Providence Station with the capital behind it. It's beautiful. Oh, geez, it's really busy in here. Oh, it's an Amtrak to Boston. It's in the cellar. That'd be so you fast. You can take it right now, but you can't. Is it really all single levels? Oh, the bi-level open way down. You're one of those back, backwards riders, huh? We're sitting backwards? Yeah. Oh. I admit, I just, no, then it's one of those rides who doesn't know what direction is what. Let's do the commuter rail ticket review. Ooh. I, mean, I, I, I act surprised if I haven't seen this a million times. But like, <laughs> I give this ticket an 8 out of 10. Hey, I love way stations. Okay. The Providence Line was our last vehicle and it would take us straight to Boston, but unfortunately the line is just not that interesting. I don't know how I'm going to stay awake on this because it's not a very interesting I'll, I'll keep him awake. <laughs> I'll keep him awake. That was way faster than us. So this is the famous viaduct. 18 what? 1851? 18 something? I'll put it up. There was a Red Sox game and the train was really loud. Forest Hills, we're so close. You can't even hear what I'm saying, can you? Ruggles, two stops left, we're so close. Ruggles, Ruggles, Commuter Rail Struggles. It's having a hard time focusing. This is Miles in Transit making his way off the train. After 24 hours and 20 Million minutes. Uh, 24 hours and 19 minutes right now. Well, this is making 20. We'll see what it is when we get out. This is the door. And that. There we go. Still 24 hours, 19 it's minutes. It's off. 24 there we hours, go. 19 minutes from DC to Boston. I'm going to go get Auntie Anne's and then take a nap forever. Did I learn anything from this trip? Just take Amtrak. All right, you're seeing credits go by right now. Why are there credits in this video? Well, it's because I have too many patrons to fit in the description now, which is an incredible problem to have. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting. It really means so much and it makes adventures like this that are absolutely insane, makes them possible. So thank you so much. Um, I'm trying to figure out where to put you guys now um, because there's one option is to have the credits, but I really like having the, the sudden endings. So part of me is thinking maybe do some kind of mid-roll thing, but like, you know, try to make it funny and interesting and like different each time to, to make up for it. So I'm, I'm curious what you think. Let me know. Also, thank you to Manta for sponsoring this video. I've become reliant on their sleep mask when I'm taking transit and need to sleep. So if you want one for yourself, check out the description and... I mean, it, realistically, like what I did learn from this is that uh, our, it would be really nice if our commuter rail systems were better connected because they do tend to provide a budget option between cities or if just Amtrak was more robust um, and, and had more budget options, that would be nice too because it, it, it's way faster than any of these other options and 
local ways and I'm just rambling at this point. But before I go, I do want to let you know the single most important thing I learned on this trip. And that